What if F1 cars had negative drag? So we're back then in the world of make-believe. We're on a game. We're in the game world. We can do whatever we want. We're going to be on F1 2020. And I have completely inverted every car's drag. So uh, most of the figures are around plus one of drag, whatever that means in, in the game's physics. And I've just made it minus one. So I've literally inverted every drag figure. Now, it's an interesting concept. Stick with this one because the most draggy cars are now... Not even the least draggy cars. It's not the right way because, of course, the faster we go, the more we gain speed in a straight line. So drag normally slows down the car in a straight line. This will speed up the car in a straight line. It's a pretty wild mod. So, as I said, definitely stick with this one. First of all, we're going to be... Of course, we're in the Ferrari. The, you know, one of the draggiest cars in the 2020 season. So we're going to be using the Ferrari. Um, we're going to be do a first test lap on Baku. Just because of that massively long straight. I just, I just want to see how quick we can go down that long straight with negative drag. Um, and then after that, we're going to get on to a race. And we will also do Monza. Potentially do two races. But one of them will definitely be Monza. We have to do the Templar speed, don't we? Any kind of straight line speed mod, we have to do Templar speed. But anyway, let's get into our very first lap. with negative drag around Baku. Here we go then. I'm quite excited for this. Okay, we're already going <laughs> to... That's not even me. We're already going to crash. We're embedded into the barrier because we were so fast. I've done a very quick practice couple of corners to make sure the mod was working um, on controller. And uh, as I said, quite an interesting concept this one because it's theoretically impossible. Now, one interesting point here, if I just show you here, if I go off the throttle now, I'm still accelerating. I'm not pressing any pedals right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not pressing any pedals, but we're accelerating because negative drag, we're, the car is being pulled forward. Now I think, yes, 487 is the games. The, the DRS makes no difference. Oh god. Uh, the brakes did nothing. The brakes did nothing. Can we stop for the barrier? No, we cannot. Still an 80, 80 km an hour crash. Um, now, of course, the game has a, well, not of course, but the game does have an inbuilt. Um, kind of hard top speed limit just won't let you go past that limit for whatever reason that's probably just a, a more of a thing to stop the game bugging out to be honest with stupid speeds now of course we're going to really struggle to get this car stopped now this is also why we're doing this car only on time trial not in, with an ai race because ai will not be able to get it stopped in this track right up to not even top speed that time breaking so early because of course when you hit the brakes the, the physics the, the the negative drag is still trying to pull the car forward it's still trying to, to, to keep the car going. So the brakes have got to fight against uh, a force try, trying to put it on. It's almost like if there was a if, if, if you had a jet engine, say, on your car, you keep the jet engine firing, but you also use the brakes to try and slow it down. It's really hard to get it stopped. And it's so quickly through the gears. Oddly, quicker and quicker through the gears the faster we go. Can I get it stopped? Oh, just about. Of course, there's not much drag here. In fact, there's enough here that the engine drag, the engine friction, slows the car down because I've just not got enough negative drag there to pull it forwards. So, uh, again, it is quite an interesting mod. It's quite weird, to be honest, to have these physics. And again, the faster we go, the faster we pick up speed. So, up through the gears really quick, up to... Oh, my word, that was a big hit with all... I braked early, but nowhere near early enough. Oh, my God. Some big, colossal crashes. Thank you, we got damage off. Right, can we get through this next turn flat out? Normally it's easy flat out, but we're going to be going so fast. Up to 8th gear, really easy in the rev limiter. Oh, bit of sliding, bit more sliding. Oh my god. Now, of course, I hit the rev limiter, I should point that out. So, there, the rev limiter is 13,000 RPM, I think, in this game, is it? Was it 14.8? Maybe it's 14.3 thousand, I'm not too sure. God, I've braked early, but I've got to stop that time. The, big, the biggest part, the biggest challenge is the brakes, honestly. I want to see what the rev limiter should be. Hold on. The rev limiter should be 13,000. That's what I thought. Okay. So in this game, the rev limiter is 13,000 RPM. And of course, the engine does go slightly past that because, again, depending on the game's physics, but this particular game clearly isn't able to hold the engine down. Oh, God. To 13,000 RPM. There isn't enough, um, I guess, uh, it normally does throttle blipping, I think, to keep it down. There isn't enough of that to, in order for it to be able to hold it down to 13,000 RPM. So it lets it go up to probably, again, probably a hard coded limit within the game. But of course, again, if this was real life, it can't be. The negative drag cannot exist in real life. But if it was real life, the engine would just blow up. It, it would drag the engine way past where it's supposed to go. The engine would not be able to stop itself doing that. And the engine would just blow up because it would get to you know, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 RPM, whatever point the pistons would just go straight through uh, the the the, uh, the pretty strong metal bits in the engine and it would just blow up. But of course, we can also go past that again in the... Oh God, that, even that's not flat. Oh my word, you don't want to get oversteer it. 400k, again, didn't get it stopped. Um, 
Can't remember what I was going to say now, but let's do one more, one more straight. I presume this is impossible flat this next corner. We're just going too quick. Yeah, so I was saying it also just continues to pull, pull the speed up slightly up to the game's hard limit. What if I back off the power? Didn't help. It didn't help. Didn't really. So I'm going to go 300k. Now, no pedals. No pedals, no point in DRS, doesn't do anything. So there's the, the, the rev limiter and we keep accelerating just because it's the car's been pulled forwards and into the barrier at 470k. <laughs> well, there we go, chat. Well, or comments, should I say? There we go, comments. Anyway, let's get into a race now at Monza and let's see if the AI can get it stopped in this turn one. I can pretty much guarantee you that they won't be able to. <laughs> If you want to try this mod for yourself, you can do so with Gillen Gang Premium. Press the join button down below and for £4.99 a month, you will have access to all of the mods that you see in my videos, including this one. If you've got F1 2020 on PC, it's a case of copy and paste and it works exactly as you see in this video. So press the join button down below, guys. Let's get into the race. Here we go. And on the grid in Monza, we are actually on pole somehow. Leclerc and Vettel are for all for I one too. But uh, I have actually enabled damage for this mod just for laughs really because i'm pretty sure that they are all going to go straight on at turn one every single lap and there'll be a lot of damage and uh, look at this <laughs> so oh my god we're building up speed i braked early not early enough no nobody braked anywhere near early how many could be able to retire there not too many actually there wasn't too many big crashes so uh, signs by the way ocon's out signs by the way ricardo's out there's a few retirements coming in now up to not even up to full speed run the curve of grande i braked early but still nowhere near early enough oh my and the, yeah see this is what the thing is the ai waits so much to be uh, to do a nice and safe rejoin let's, let's have a little race here with signs if we can is he gonna go off straight away no he's not he's got that one stopped again it's weird because around the corners you accelerate so here look get it slowed down and then go off the power on oh, no, actually didn't accelerate but it didn't decelerate and everyone's gonna go off there aren't they i'm just gonna keep going for now as a Mercedes still stopped at turn one? Is he stuck in the barrier or something? Should we go and rescue him? Oh, God, I break early. But still, again, nowhere near. Uh, it's ridiculous. Because, of course, you're going faster. So you need to make earlier. And you've got that, that force that's constantly pulling you forward. I really want to go and find this, this Mercedes in turn one to see what it's doing. Interestingly, it takes longer to get to the full speed on this track. And I bet it's because Monza uses lower wings. Oh, no. No, damage. Bit of damage there. I bet it's because Monza uses lower wings, which is also lower drag, which in this case is less... Uh, suck in a straight line. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, let's go and see what's going on with this Mercedes in turn one. I'm intrigued. Right, break. Uh, I don't know, about 200 meters. Still nowhere, nowhere near. What is going on with that Mercedes? Why is it. Hold on. Is, is it retired and the car's just being left there forever? Was he just stuck? Is he stuck in the wall? George Russell's not. All four wheels. See How a turn. Are you, are you okay? Lewis? Why, why has he just stopped? He's just given up. You okay, mate? Come on, there's, there's, there's a race on. I need to... I need to do, do racing. It's racing time. It's time to earn your money. Oh god, we're going to get taken out now. Go. Go. No, he's okay. It's okay. He's just gone. He must have retired. His car just got stuck there. Oh, no, he's still there. What is all this debris? I don't know what's going on. I think... Oh, his car's gone now. It is gone now. Right, where are we? We're down, down to fourth. Right, we're not after that. Let's get back up a few more positions. Right, where, where do we break for the next turn? I'm going to break here. 300 meters. That was about right. 300 meters before the corner we had to break. Normally, you break at about 100 meters. <laughs> that just shows you how much earlier I'm breaking. And why the AI cannot get it stopped. The AI generally do adapt pretty well in this game. But this uh, this particular mod is a bit too much for them, I think. There's a car. What's going on here? There's two positions there, chat. Can we get them? Oh, whoa. Do not want to be on the grass at 400k again. Where do I break? 200. 200 is way too late. Way too late. Both Ferraris are still in it, by the way. Gasly just got through. What? Gasly did a good job there. Still in P3. Signs is the... Oh. Signs may have just gone off in the parabolica. Right, 200 meters. Gasly, no! Oh, we kept our wheels on, but we lost all of our weight. Oh, that's a big crash from Vettel. We both went into a Gasly there. That's for position. Signs is still going. He's in the pits. I'm going to have to pit just because I haven't got a wing. Oh, no. Oh, just got it stopped for the pits somehow. 
Right, what we're going to do? Put on a new set of uh, soft tyres. Get a lovely new wing. Oh, Vettel's in behind me. R.I.P. To the Ferrari team. Where's the sign stuck? Oh no, there he goes. Why are the signs so slow? Just a wing change, I suppose. Sorry, Seb, but that said, we are going to still come back out on the podium because everybody else is out of this race. <laughs> it's signs and two Ferraris left in this race. Now, can we make it an all Ferrari one two somehow in this weird race? Maybe we can. Let's give it a go. Is the engine overheating? No, engine's fine. Oh god, I forgot to shift up quickly. Where do we break? Here, 200 meters. Raikkonen's out. He was behind anyway. There is actually a couple of cars on the minimap still, but I think they're probably all retired. Alright, where's Sa Science? Is, Science is getting on with it. I'll tell you what. Go on, Signs. Again, I just don't know where to break. No, that is not the correct point. Luckily, there's lots of runoffs at Monza. Otherwise, there'd be even more crashes than there already are. Again, it's just weird. It just doesn't decelerate when you come off the, the throttle. It's, it's such an odd feeling to drive. Up into the rev limiter. And we keep accelerating. Where's Signs? Signs is in here. Someone break. 200 meter board. No, that's too late. I did that last lap. Did that last lap and it was too late. Oh, God. That car's... What is Latifi? Is he retired or what? I don't know what's going on with this race. Unsurprisingly, it's a bit of a weird one. Right, signs now coming through the parabolic. Does he retire or does he does he remain intact? Oh god, 200 meters is too late. Why do I keep breaking at 200 meters? No, 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 signs, signs is out. Oh, damage a wing, but I I keep my wheels now. Is Vettel out? I don't think Vettel's out yet. If he can survive, I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cause a yellow flag because the, the AI do slow down for yellow flags. So if there's a yellow flag, he may, he may slow down. No, no, he has not. I can confirm he did not slow down. <laughs> he survived though, did he? How did he survive that? He's still going? He is still going. All right, me and Vettel then. I'm going to come into the pits behind him. Oh God, I can't get it stopped. We are going to have to be delayed, unfortunately, by his pit stop, but... Let's uh, let's see if we can beat him. How long we got? We got one more lap after. Wait, there's still cars going. Look, Kvyat and Verstappen are actually still in the race. Do they retire in the last turn? No, Kvyat's okay. He did hit the wall pretty hard though. So Verstappen does he retire in the parabolica? No, he does not. And Kvyat carries on. Surely he needs a wing change. Verstappen's out. There you go. So now Kvyat stormed into the lead. <laughs> we now we've now got a genuine fight for the lead. Right, come on, let's get going. Right, let's see what we can do now. Hopefully, Vettel didn't retire. We want we want an all Ferrari one too. We are at Monza after all. And there's still that Williams just in the Scari doing something. I don't know what. Up to just a casual 400k on the pit exit. I'll break too late. I'll break far too far too late. Call cool, this debris. Vettel's still going. He's actually catching Kvyat, I think. How quick can we get around here? Just, it's just too late. It's just, it's too much speed and we've got too much suck. Oh, God. And, of course, theoretically, again, I say, you were th well, no, theoretically is actually correct. But, um, theoretically, we could get to up to a, a speed at which the brakes will not be able to slow it down anymore. The faster we go, the more suck we get in a straight line. Oh, everyone's, everyone's gone off at Ascari. I keep breaking 200 meters. It's too late. We've learned this several times. Why is Latifi still in the race? I don't understand why he's just stopped. He's just wiggling his wheels. He doesn't know what to do. Um, yes, yeah, so theoretically, there is a point where the brakes just wouldn't be able to slow it down because there's too much suck and the brakes just wouldn't do anything. Uh-oh, who's going to retire? Is it Vettel? Oh, yep. Vettel's got to be out, surely. That was a big hit. Vettel is out. There's a wheel there. Now, it's just me versus Kvyat. Kvyat boxes. I'm just going to go full throttle into the pit, see what the game does. Ooh, savage. Right. Another new wing. Do we even need a wing? We don't. We actually kept our wing clean. Wow. Check us out. Kvyat will need a wing note. Will he be able to survive to the end? Me versus Kvyat. And Latifi, who's just stopped in Ascari for the win of the Italian Grand Prix. I'm leaning forward. I'm really into this. This mod's quite fun. I'm not going to lie. It's obviously a bit silly against the AI, but it is, it is genuinely quite a fun mod to drive just because it's so different. Actually, that stopped quite nicely there. Kvyat did not. Come on, Kvyat, mate. Let's have a little race for the last lap of the race. Ready, go. The race has begun. 
Oh, I went into his... Actually, this might make it work. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, we're going to retire. Oh, no. Sit tight. The marshals are on their way. I don't... I can't... My brain can't figure out if Slipstream is better or worse. I think it might have been better then, just because... We just seem to just... I mean, look. What is... <laughs> I don't really know. I don't really know what that was. We just seem to just accelerate into the back room. We've got speed on the wheel here. Yes, the speed there. Yeah, we. Were, yeah, I think he just went slower than I expected, and we just went into the back of him and out of the race. I'm going to do a little flashback just so we can complete the race, but we all, we all know it doesn't really count. Oh god, I do want to know if slipstream is better. I honestly don't know. I don't. I, theoretically, it sh slipstream should reduce the effect. Because in this game, Slipstream just applies a a, mo a modifier on your drag level. So when you're in a Slipstream, you lose like 10% drag or something. So you, if you lose 10% of your negative drag, of course, that makes it worse. So I think Slipstream is worse. I think. <laughs> but not by much. Right. Oh, God. He's, he's going to... Oh, he's absolutely flown past us. Get out of a Slipstream because it's worse. Right. Is he going to survive? Oh, I stopped making it 200 meters. We were going a bit slow that time, so we actually got it stopped nicely. All right, come on, come out. Let's have a, let's have a one corner battle. Ready, ready, go. It's gonna overtake us again. I just like that they just go full throttle. They're just unafraid. Although they are a little bit quicker in a straight line. We have got slightly more drag though. Oh no, it's just it's just who's gonna survive the last turn? Oh, he survived. He survived. No, no, don't be it, Kvyat. No, Kvyat, you're not allowed. Oh. Oh my god, he almost got us there. How did he survive the whole race? Everybody else retired. Daniel Kvyat, OP. That's what it is. But we do manage to take the win in this race. That was a bit of a wild bard, wasn't it, really? Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, though. Don't forget, this mod is available to Gilling Gang Premium users. So do just click the Join button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new as well. And I thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.